Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Yeah, we'll see about that. How are they not expecting company if... Oh, that oh, machine. No. We should check to see he's all right. <laughs> Been there, little guy. Oh, Lord, that robot just committed. What the hell's going on in this place? First, we received a dead arm. Then a message. It's alive. I'm shocked. So, dozens and dozens of episodes back, I did receive a message to do this mission. Back then, I did decide to delay because I actually wanted to those big empty windows feels like the buildings watching me no oh, law I'm getting goosebumps I decided to try and get all manner of surprises in there all my companions in my ship first. What is this? Saltuna Pond? Wow, that is funny. So now that I'm finally here on this next DLC, what am I expecting? I played this before, so I already know what happened, but why... Why not relive it again? And holy cow, look at this! All these stars! The Milky Way? Yeah, maybe? Holy cow, it's just so beautiful here. My friend was on this case and he mysteriously got killed, so... How bad can I'll it take be? It back. Ain't nothing here but memories. Oh, Captain, something here don't feel right. I got you, Pervardi, trust me. Nothing's gonna happen to you. So, we're meeting Will Melmina Ambrose, probably on the second floor, based off of the little cursor in front of me. Whoa, this is a very interesting statue. Yeah, this is too quiet for me. Very quiet. Apparently not. Try it for a drink, Miss whoever you are. Uh, do I really want to drink though? So who the devil are you? Denise, captain of the unreliable. You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass to Gorgon. You want to toast the asteroid. That's right. The Gorgon asteroid is pretty to look at, but evil to the core. I raise a glass to my adversary out of respect. Are you mini Amros? That's right. And I take it you're the type who skips formalities. So let's get down to business. Now, what brings you to my house, gorgeous? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the stars, Are you flirting with me? The pleasant company. Nah, she's just being too nice. I'm here about a severed arm. A severed arm? arm mm -hmm. how positively ghoulish you know this is a private residence not a curio shop does the name lucky montoya mean anything to you lucky montoya is my personal freelancer fascinating man very brooding and theatrical always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles but if something happened to him oh dear I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now. 
Any idea who might have wanted him killed? You suspect foul play? Interesting. If we're being honest, I haven't given it much thought. I mean, his what armor smelled to me, to so... Out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Okay, well... You sure got over the bad news fast. That's called a defense mechanism. I don't get attached to others if I can avoid it. Try it sometime. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. You're awful quick to trust a bunch of strangers that broke into your home. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. Giggity. Anyways, are you seriously offering me the dead guy's job? I don't think he'll mind if that's your concern. Okay, well, how likely am I to wind up like your old freelancer? The man lost an arm. What are the odds of that happening twice? Of course, Gorgon is a treacherous place, and my own family's involvement with it has been fraught. Allow me to lay out the facts. And you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant. The top scientist in her field. Until tragedy struck. I'm not surprised Spacer's Choice is one big accident waiting to happen. I wish I could say otherwise. One day... Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. It must have been real hard on you, losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but this was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Wow, that's... sounds like she was the corporation's potsy. My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. Well, tell me about your mother. I admired mother, but we weren't close. She disapproved of everything about me, really. I couldn't measure up to her example. She didn't make time for us. I remember thinking that she never wanted a child, and never forgave me for being one. Naive and irresponsible as I was. Yikes, what did she want? A fully grown lab assistant? I don't know what would have made Mother happy. After a while, I stopped trying to find out. Did you two ever get along? We got close once. When I was a child, I enjoyed looking over Mother's shoulder, playing backseat chemist while she peered into a microscope. One day, she told me to leave before I broke something. Then, I got mad and broke something. Typical night in the Ambrose house. Oh, that hurts my heart to hear, ma'am. My dad was real dedicated to his work, too, but... He always let me help. Made me feel... I don't know... Special? Like I had something to offer. I wish you could have had that with your mother. Mother and Gorgon were made for each other. I had the misfortune to be stuck in the middle. What do you think happened on Gorgon? I don't know. And Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. Gorgon has a dark history. The project fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. Where's your father in all of this? Father lost more than his job on Gorgon. I'll say no more than that. The asteroid may look like a glittering jewel, 
but I assure you the resemblance ends there. Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. I need your help, Captain. Project Gorgon killed Mother and disgraced the Ambrose name, and no one has been held accountable. Spacer's choice buried the past like a dirty secret. Wow. Are you interested in justice, revenge, or both? Neither. It's vindication I want. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Okay, well, first I have some questions about this job. I'm not surprised. Between the family drama and the corporate conspiracy, it must feel like you've stepped on a landmine. Speak freely, Captain. Why did you wait before starting the investigation? I didn't want to go anywhere near Gorgon. Once I exhausted all my options, the search led me back here. I even had Mother declared legally dead. Would you believe it took five years to process the paperwork? That is disgusting. Wait, what? Allow me to explain. Mother's body is still on Gorgon. No body means no death certificate, which means no inheritance. I killed Mother, just on paper, of course, so I could claim my inheritance. We wouldn't be standing here if I didn't have access to the family fortune. I once assumed the mansion and the money would be enough to redeem the Ambrose name. But even in Byzantium, prestige must be earned. And it can so easily be lost. Are you saying you just want to break into high society? Break back into high society, yes. I thought you were trying to vindicate your mother. I'm trying to do several things at once. None of them easy. The smear campaign against Mother was the work of cowards. I'm vindicating the family name for her, for the colony, and for my future. Okay, well, what do you stand to gain? Everything that Mother lost. This colony is in trouble. The lunatics at Spacer's Choice are running the asylum, and we need better people to wield their influence. After Gorgon, I quickly discovered that the Ambrose name was cursed for lack of a better term i had no place among the decision makers no seat at the table that is why i'm clearing the record and vindicating the ambrose line for mother for me and for the generations who will one day inherit halcyon huh that's so cute she's just painting to be the one that wants to clear out her family's name okay well what you propose could put both of us in danger I'm on it. how did this investigation get lucky killed you know as much as i do i'm afraid spacer's choice abandoned gorgon but the asteroid is far from unoccupied between the marauders of course mm -hmm. and whatever escaped the labs Danger abounds. Great. Great. Hold on. What escaped the labs? Toward the end of the project, I heard Mother grumble about some test subjects running amok outside of their enclosure. Great. I wish I could tell you more. No Just shit. watch yourself. If you aren't careful, you stand to lose more than an arm. What good is your mother's journal to you now? I suspect it will prove that corporate greed and incompetence were to blame for the calamity at Gorgon, and not Mother. Mother was a brilliant woman. Difficult, cold, unreachable even, but brilliant. And what if you're wrong? Then my family's disgrace, our curse, will be absolute. This is my last hope of redeeming the Ambrose name. I don't like my chances, but I have to try. And I need help. Your help. I believe that covers it all. Are you ready to get started? 
We mustn't allow the trail to get cold. Hmm. Oh, what should I choose? Um... Don't worry, if Spacer's Choice is hiding something, I'll get to the bottom of it. I believe you're the first person to ever side with me against the Corporation. It's a refreshing change. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. What did you tell Lucky about this job? I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Why? Uh-huh. Just, I'm just trying to calculate the odds of this gig getting me killed. It's sure to be 100% with that attitude. Mm. Still, you're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. Not sure you listen to any of my advice. More bravado than talent, huh? I know the type. He had an aura of rugged individualism that was quite charming. Not that it helped him in the end. But you won't let me down, will you, Captain? I'll be careful. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad. The Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room. So if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. I ought to stop in and taste the local flavor. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a Sprat in a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? Wow, you really are hell-bent on proving your mother's innocence. What's the catch, though? There's always a catch. The catch? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. Maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm sorry about your mother. Spacer's choice should be the one apologizing, but... Thank you. Sincerely. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Yeah? Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Mysterious heiress, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. Salvage rights and a paycheck? This is almost too good to be true. Now do you understand my hesitation, Nokia? It seems like it. Alright, let's head out. I want to see exactly what we're dealing with here. And if it's just like the last DLC... I know we're going to get into some real messed up trouble here. I, I, I just have a feeling. Wow. Look at those stars. That don't it make you feel small in the best way? I just love how you view things, Pervardi. You're so adorable, you know that? <sighs> am I nervous? Yes, I am. Because I don't really know what I'm... Actually, if you would like to board a vessel, please have your emergency departure papers ready. Holy shit. Everything's abandoned. There's no way I can actually pinpoint exactly what's going on. So I'm going to the Sprat Shack to get some sort of a lead. Hopefully... I'll be able to have someone help me point a finger to some type of direction, so wish me luck. The fact that this shack has these critters running around is so disgusting. Come here. Let's have a chat. Okay, Von Hoffman. What's good? All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. What's this all about? Did I stutter? Just do as I say. Okay, I will. Good. Look up. Now look down. 
You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. Alex Hawthorne. Neither do well. Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. That was a sanity check. Mm. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. What? What did you mean when you said people had changed? Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. What happens when people change? First, they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves on account of how they soiled themselves. Wow. After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. Where exactly am I? This is the Sprat Shack, the most remote watering hole in the system. Rule number one, no fighting. Okay. Rule number two, wipe your feet on the way downstairs. I think We're that's the pretty reasonable. place on this rock. I want to keep it that way. That's why we have rule number three. When people change, they stay outside where they belong. Okay, well, nice chatting with you. You're heading downstairs? Order something sweet. What the hell? Oh. Ugh. This place smells like Felix's birth. Wow. It's been an age since I had a good trip of kale. Hope they've got it on tap. The fact that people, they sound like they go mentally insane if it's that bad. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house and I won't even water it down. Will it be? Well, let me see here. I would do, I'm not really into vodka like that, but whiskey, yeah, whiskey. I'm feeling refined. Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Actually, I came for a journal. Can't help you there. This ain't exactly a library. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. Do you know anyone by the name of Lucky Montoya? Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. Huh. Office of Creative Incubation? That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Lucky never told me why it was so important. <sighs> Awful shame about what happened to him. What happened? You really want to hear my story? Yeah. Wow. Most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the canid, scared it off. Go on. Get this. The canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. How'd you know it belonged to Lucky? I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Mm. Anyway, the arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They even gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. The arm made it to me. Um, Hawthorne's next of kin, sort of. No kidding. And now you're here? Colony feels smaller than you'd think some days. I'm glad I was here to see this, uh, confluence of events, you know? The stars really aligned on this one. And here I am, smack dab in the middle. So, 
why bother sending the arm at all? I figured Hawthorne would want to know what happened to his pal. Help Lucky get his affairs in order, you know. Oh, I hate to see people go with unfinished business. Where was Lucky staying? Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. Oh my god, that is so nasty. Ew. So, what do you know about Gorgon? Spacer's Choice used to brew pharmaceuticals in these parts. That's why the asteroid smells like an old gym sock. They say Adrena time came from here. Just down the road at the old R&D lab. Very hush-hush back in the day. Okay, well... Any idea why Spacer's Choice shut Gordon down? I doubt anyone knows the full story. One day the evacuation order went out. Grunts and lab coats scrambled to get anywhere but Gorgon. And the weirdest thing of all, Adrena time still hit the market. Me, I never touch the stuff. Each their own, but I think it's dangerous. Okay, well, do you, would any of your regulars have more information about Gorgon? Roscoe might tell you more. He spent some time around here before the bar opened up. I trust him well enough. There's always Leonora, my favorite customer over in the storage room on the second floor. Keeps to herself and always closes out her tab. What's R Roscoe's story? He's been here since opening day. I think he told me he was some kind of journalist. He got left behind when Spacer's Choice pulled out. And I guess no one's coming to get him. Poor bastard. You looking out for him? Roscoe's drinks are on the house. We all know how it feels to get left behind. He'll be all right. He's with the family now, and we take care of our own. Why he get left behind? He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask. I'm his bartender, not his human resources rep. If you believe the chatter, a lot of good folks got left behind, and a lot of bad folks made it out. Sometimes, that's all there is to it. What can you tell me about Lenora? Nice lady. Been coming around a lot these past few months. She isn't with Sublight, but seems to know the lay of the land better than anyone. She spends most of her days drinking alone. I think she's looking to hire someone. If you're open to a side gig. Do you know if she spoke with Lucky Montonia at all? Now that you mention it, I thought I saw those two sharing stories over a pint. Didn't think twice about it. I don't speak ill of the dead, but Leonora deserves better company. Damn. That lucky was no good for her. Thanks for the tip. What are friends for, eh? Salvengers must be making a fortune off of Gorgon. Damn right we are. We've got drugs, scrap metal, prototype weapons, drugs, money, and more drugs. When Spacer's Choice evacuated, everyone dropped their gear and ran. Most of it stayed where it fell, and all of it is up for grabs. Of course... The real treasure is whatever's locked up in the old facility. Until someone figures a way to crack it open. We're just sifting through dirt. No further questions. You got it, bub. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.